Hello, welcome back. Uh, in the last uh, video, we showed you how to do a recording using Selenium IDE. And then, so, as of now, probably you, you would have been done a recording, and that recording is basically looking like this. Okay, it's a very simple recording using basically automating five to six steps. So, here are a couple of deficiencies in this recording. So, the, the first question is that are you sure that whatever you are getting is correct or not? Are you doing some kind of verification steps? Like you know, basically what you what you have done here, so you are basically you know doing open click type and all those things, right? So what happens if something gone wrong here? You know, if some steps going wrong here, is there any verification steps here, right? So basically, whenever you click on this search here, whatever you are doing here, is this search is 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 resulting any 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 flight uh, itineraries or not? Question here is how do you verify that you are getting search flight details? So how do we can do this, this this kind of verification? For example, just I want to I want to show you like you know how this thing can fail. So let's go to the website and let's basically instead of DFW, right? I'm just going to give some some random values here, okay? And then if I want to run this thing, right? And this thing is basically going to fail. But let's see like you know if if, if I from the by looking at our log here, can I say that if it is failing or not? Okay. So it's executing and all those things gone and then it's trying to do some search. I am expecting a a, a result like you no know, flight details, but I cannot I cannot get it because I'm I'm giving the wrong departure or wrong, wrong uh, city name uh, instead of DFW. I'm giving some some random string. Okay, so that, that that's fair enough. So this thing is basically showing in the browser, but I would like to see those things here in the log file, saying that okay, this is you know Selenium should have told me that okay, this thing didn't pass. How can you how can you enhance this script whatever you are saying here so that you can handle those kind of error conditions? Okay, so to do that, let's try to understand what are different types of commands available in Selenium. So what in the very left side, you know what you're seeing? This these are the commands. One of the commands open, click, type. So there are three types of commands that you are you are you are three three different kinds of commands that you are executing here. Okay. And these commands are called selenies. Okay. So these are selenies commands. And the selenies commands are divided, divided at of three categories. The first thing is called action. Okay. So example of action is that you are going to go into some uh, some web some web application and you are clicking on a radio button. Another action, you are selecting something on the uh, application. Okay, so that is an action uh, kind of command. And uh, in our case, we have two action: click, type. So there are two action type of command. Okay, and another thing is that uh, another kind of commands that we see generally is called accessor. Okay, so example accessor commands are going to help you to determine. The state of the web page. So, for example, if I am seeing that sorry, okay. So, how do I capture this thing? You know, what kind of commands is going to basically capture this thing from the web from the web uh, from the Firefox browser to the Selenium? That is called accessor commands is going to help. One of the example of accessor command is called store text. Okay, so store text accessor command is going to help you in storing this application state okay and the last one is called assertion command so this assertion commands are going to help you in doing two things first figuring out the state of the web page and second is to confirm to say that okay if if it is uh, ex expected or not okay and some kind of confirmation okay so essentially using these are the total types of commands Okay, so now basically I think to, to whatever I ask to verify, right, we are going to probably require some kind of command in this area. Okay, so we are going to I'm going to look for an assertion command. Okay, so basically let's, uh, I just want to show you like you know, how to do that and then it's, it's going to be very easy uh, actually to, to, to do. Okay, so let's uh, go back and then change the value to actual value. So DFW. So so essentially, it's, it's running right now with the proper data set, and ex I'm expecting the the result. Okay. So basically, what I'm saying is that matching results 240. Okay. So what I want to do after this click step, okay, I want to see if the matching result is there or not. Okay. So basically, I want to add one more command here in Selenium IDE to check 
if the matching results is there on that web page or not. So how do I do that? Just do a right click. In the right, if you do right click, it will show you all the available commands there. And one of the available command is verify text present matching result just click on that so if i do that so basically after i do a search whatever the resulting output i'm getting the resulting page is basically if i give the right data the resulting page will be flight results in this flight results i'm looking for a text that name is matching result if the matching result is like if i'm getting this matching result in this page then i'm saying that this is true else i will tell this is false okay so now with this with this modification let's try to give a run okay so this is going on and then so it looks like you know this thing name date and then okay well what i'm seeing here is that for this for click search result so I'll go to log log file and so it looks like search is going through you know info basically executing the search but when it's executing the verify text present it's giving me an error how come like now you are clearly seeing something here matching results but you are but but your selenium id is is saying that this error this false it didn't find the reason is this whenever selenium is running this running sequentially one after another just first do a click type and then click and in click when i was doing the name search it takes some time for the browser to return the value but selenium is not waiting for that return it's just like after it did the click it's just going to go and then try to see if this verified text present is there or not how do we expect verified text present should be there if you, if your search has not re not returned any result so essentially what we need to do between these two step we need to introduce some sort of wait time like if i just stop for some time like you know, basically if i ask selenium okay you do click now but you do the next step after some time not right away then that would probably work and exactly that command there is a command for that okay and basically what i'm saying is that after i do a search i'm going to waiting for this page to arrive so how do i see if the page arrive or not if i can check something like okay if the title of this page is something called www.orbis.com hyphen flight results okay so that is what essentially i'm going to show you how to do so right click here and do a insert new command if you do an insert new command so here is the thing that i can insert a new command and let's me let me kind of figure it out like you know what kind of commands are available so so available command one of the available command here is wait for title or com. i just click on that okay so if i did that so basically you know i'm i have wait for title or com. then i have this thing just so delete this thing i don't really need this thing okay so basically what i did in between the click and verified text present i introduced one more step and that step is basically saying that wait for title to which title you should wait for this title called orvis.com okay so now let's run okay so now see it's waiting for this thing okay whenever the, the moment it came the moment this this flight results come then this wait is going to finish okay and then so it is now don't you know the id doesn't give any error is actually finding everything okay so this is how you you enhance the script whatever you record last time so that you add two more things so what you learn from here is this you learn that you can add selenium commands ourselves it's not necessary that we have to do everything you know from the browser and the selenium will record and that is probably not the way to not, not the way you are going to do what you are going to do you know to check this thing you need to understand three things what kind of command you want to do and what is the target that means where do you where do you want to find that one say for example i want to click on this thing so in order to do that i need to figure out how to identify this element once i identify this element by this kind of weird string whatever you are we are giving i just put it here in the target and then what i do i basically on a on a checkbox i can do click okay then i just you know the command is to be click and then this is the identification thing so this is what we are going to learn in 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 the next couple of videos how do you identify or how selenium will identify this elements on the web page thank you